Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I've got some few little bits and pieces that I picked up, I guess over the last week, I think it must be. Um, yeah, and I'll show you what I've picked up. So um, I went into the range again. I forget why, I think I had to get something for school. Um, and they had a few little bits on sale. So I grabbed a few little bits, um, including this doily die. This was um, originally down, it said down to a pound. I think actually when I got the receipt, it came out at less than a pound. Um, it's a little mini doily. So for less than a pound, a cute little die to use. I can just see a bit stuck in there. Um, and I'll show you how they come out. So I think they're quite adorable. Adorable. Uh, yeah, look at these. They're sweet. So it has got a little cross in it where um, this part of the die was. Can see it's made an indentation that's because i had it on quite a um a tight what would you call it when you put the um plates through the pressure was quite high um obviously it means it cuts it lovely and i had two sheets in at the same time i don't think if you had the pressure so high you would get that indentation i don't mind that indentation myself because i'm probably going to stick something in the middle and ink them up i think that'd be very cute so yeah they had quite a few of their little dies and things on sale and they also had you saw me pick up these um button dies the week last week um and i got another set because they were um because i really like them and i wanted to be able to run them through twice and they came up at 69p for the set so i've got two sets here that's what you're seeing is two sets of them um, and I really like them and I shall show you what I have been doing with the buttons. So in here I've also been making a little, um, <laughs> my words have gone from me, fairground horses using that punch that I picked up the other day. I think they're really cute as well. So I just layer them up to make them um, a bit thicker and then add some gloss. Hello kitty cats. But um, anyway, so here are some of the buttons so they're layered up to be a bit thicker with pretty paper and of course some glossy accents and I just really like them I really like how they come out I think they're really cute and you could match them up couldn't you with a doily um you can like have that and then sort of thread something through the middle so I'll mix and match colours and things like that. You could even have a little horse, couldn't you? They have all sorts going on. So I really like those, just making little embellishments. Um and they're like less than a pound for the dies. So it's all good. What else did I pick up? This wasn't reduced but um I just wanted some pearl bees and I realised I didn't have any the other day. So this is a pound for this little set in the range. And I decided to go for pink because I do seem to do a lot of pink crafting, don't I? I'm just gonna open it. I've not even opened it up yet. Might as well open it up and have a look now. Um, it's got quite a nice big container of beads as well in the range, and I was considering getting that, but it didn't have a price on it like many things in a range. So I think these will just be cute for adding to the top of tassels. Oh, throwing around the place. Anything that you do with beading, and in the middle, you just get a little bit of wire not wire like plastic thread I won't use that it's not for me um, and some fastenings if you wanted to make a little necklace or bracelet I probably won't use those findings um because I don't tend to make jewelry mainly I'm just using it to make charms and paper crafty type projects but they're there nonetheless should I want to do that um I also picked some of these up because they were cute and they were selling them off I think they're 40p they're sweet aren't they why not oh there's another one of my little another one of my little one <laughs> fairground horses right so what else did i get that week so that was from the range did i get anything else from the range oh, move it around a bit just some not very exciting at all but i got some ma photo magnets because actually these are quite good actually because they're fairly sta sturdy so if when you store your magnets on you know how if it's not if it's a very flexible magnetic sheet they just pop off don't they the um, the dies so that's just for storing dies not very exciting but they're a pound for two um and i've got some more of those um off ebay i just picked up this die the die zaya by Crafter's Companion, Fringed Flower Small. 
uh, just because I saw it and I was curious. It was a few pounds, could have even been three pounds maybe. Um, and it cuts out basically a bit like this. I've actually done a few layers all together, so I've got quite a few of these. Um, and I also give my quilling tool to do this, but who knows where that is in my... Um, I have a feeling there's more than one sheet there. Maybe there isn't. Um, and then, anyway, you twirl... Oh, what was that? You twirl it around to make a little flower like this. I had in my head that I'd make some from felt. I've not tried that yet. I don't know whether they are too small. Um... Well, I should have gone for a larger fringe flower. But I think that is cute. It's just a different type of flower, isn't it? And I do like to use handmade flowers. I can't see any projects around that I could pretend to put it on. Well, not pretend, to actually put it on. So, yeah. Yeah, it would be a good size, wouldn't it, for a card? I could have a go at doing some of those. The only thing, I'm not so sure about the base. It's a little chunky. I don't know if I showed you this. I had a go, that dye that came in the Hunky Dory box, I had to get watercolouring it with the watercolour pens. Don't know if I like that yet. Who knows? We'll make a decision. So yeah, I do like this tie actually. I haven't tried it felt yet. If it works as felt, I think that'd be cute. I think it looks cute with paper. There we go. Um, I... This is how... Oh, no. so is it. This is how they come out when you do it with felt. So if you want to be able to cut using these dies, I mean, I use wool felt and wool felt cuts easy peasy. Um, if you want to do it in felt. I also tried quite a few of these little, so the ball inside is one of those pearl beads that I picked up. So I tried trimming it down slightly to make, so it's a bit less, so that's originally how dimensional it is with paper. And this is how dimensional when I trimmed it down a bit. So I guess that just depends how you like it. I quite like it trimmed down a bit, so it's a little bit flatter. There you go. It's my cute little flowers. I also got this off eBay for a couple of pounds. It's a greeting farm red rubber stamp that's been used. Don't know what it's called. Happy day. Um, mainly because I liked this little boy um, and I have some little boys in my life and... So that's cute for a car. The little girl is also cute holding the stars. And I do like a red rubber stamp because they stamp beautifully. I don't mind that it's used. It doesn't normally impact the stamping quality whatsoever. So yeah, I just thought he was really cute. So I picked that one up and I think it says, oh, is it? Oh, a happy day. Oh, a happy day. Oh, okay. You don't actually get that. That's the name. Uh, you don't get that as an actual stamp, which is fine. So you do get happy day. Smiley, because I have like smiley happy day, enjoyable happy day, and fun happy day. I don't know what kind of, what occasion those sentiments would be for, maybe more for scrapbooking, but I was thinking for like little little people's birthdays and things. Um here is the greeting farm stamp coloured in. This was the boy one, so I just made it into this little birthday card using one of those circle dies I picked up from queenacraft.com. So I've got the Three little dinosaurs, and I've added a bit of gloss to the dinosaurs to make them stand out. And then just die cut a sentiment and added a bit of gloss to this sentiment as well. So there we go, a little birthday card for the boy. And there's a mango. Um, then I also, whilst I was in Sainsbury's, which I had a queue to get into. Shocking. I picked up Crafts Beautiful. Where is it? Crafts Beautiful magazine. I think this is their new one out now. Um, so it came, so was it six ninety nine? So seven pounds. It came with two free gifts, which I'll show you. Um, and I've seen the first free gift, the one that it sort of advertises on here, um, on like Instagram or something, and thought, oh, that looks cute. So I had so when I saw it, which is this one here, and I'll show you in a minute. I um kind of picked it up to have a look and then when I turned it over I realised you get another free gift as well so that made it doubly good and I'll show you the free gifts in a second so next month is more sort of decoupage stamp that kind of stuff so I do like Crafts Beautiful as a magazine I mean I don't read does anyone really read the craft magazines all that much probably not um, but I like the fact it has a mixture of paper craft and other crafts because like a lot of people, I do like more than one craft. Um, 
I've got like quilling. I've never really got into quilling, but I feel like I should do. That's quite cute. Um, sewing was what I was referring to by other crafts. So I'll flick through, because I know it's one thing. When you buy a magazine, you sort of want to know what it looks like inside. And because they're all wrapped up in plastic, you can't see the inside. So slightly frustrating that you have to buy something when you can't see it. So I will show you. So yeah, lots of cute little projects. Sort of sewing projects, isn't it? Knitting. I don't knit, but if I did, I'm sure that'd be cute. I might have a go at making that rabbit. Why not? A very simple sewing project. Yeah. So just the odd thing. I mean, it's not not the most readable magazine, but it's um, yeah, it's nice. Some good projects. It's got some templates, so I might trace those fish and do something with them. Is there anything else of any excitement? Yeah, it's got the template for the money, bunny, so that'd be easy to um, trace and sort out. And that shows you a bit about what's coming next time. So anyway, that's the magazine. Um, and then I will show you what the gifts were, as most of the time we choose magazines, don't we, based on what you get as a gift. So it's the Comfort Blankets Decoupage and Stamp Card Kit by Kanban. Um, I don't own a lot by Kanban, but I do own some stuff <laughs> not a lot but something uh you get inside let's pick it up using my hands you get some papers these are very thin papers imagine the thinnest papers you possibly could i mean that's not necessarily the end of the world but they are just in case you wondered i do like this design that looks like fabric so it's double-sided which is always good they've got the little characters very wistful or something whimsical is that the words used to describe characters like that i have a feeling i might just use the backs of them because i have got some ideas of things i want to do with this sort of print so that's the papers you get some foam squares always useful we know i love my foam squares you get the world's smallest pack of gems which is cute i might stick that in a ha you know a pocket letter because it's that sort of size but um that is the world's smallest pack. You get some decoupage tops or basically die cut tops. I think these are really cute. I'm probably going to use them to make a pocket letter, I think. Some kind of spring type pocket letter. They're cute, aren't they? Dungarees are cute on little people, aren't they? Gotta love dungarees. So it's a random mixture of animals. We've got a panda in there with a fox and a rabbit and a mouse and a hedgehog. Um, I'm not aware of any location where pandas do hang out with foxes and hedgehogs and rabbits but you know who knows and that and a giant goose mm, i think they're cute I, I do use that kind of stuff in various different ways and then these seem to be card bases but they'd make a very narrow card wouldn't they because that's a six by six sheet so it would be three by six and i've never known anyone make a three by six card particularly so i will probably just use them as card stock double-sided again very pretty patterns if you like spring prettiness and then these ones um two they only come with two maybe it doesn't come with two card bases that are like that so to me I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like five by five or something or potentially even smaller than that. Four and a half by four and three quarters or whatever you do. If you know, you've got to do these whole things in inches. They're double sided. That's nice. I actually, you know, I like this. The one that looks a bit like fabric. What are you doing over there, cat? Ripping up the... Um sofa bed that is at the back of the room and then a stamp set i think he's very cute i think the hedgehog is very cute something scary about the eyes on that but maybe i need to stamp it out and give it a go and then see what i think i'll try and do a little project with this and then try and put the picture somehow in this video and then the second gift that came with it is this one so i thought it's pretty cool because you're basically seven pound magazine 350 for that one which i think is okay and 350 for this one if you split them in two plus the magazine um so yeah so this is a crafter's companion one i like the best wishes die i think that's a nice uh font i'm not so sure about the flamingo just the way that it's just a bit random isn't it i know that was a a thing that Gemini did for a while. 
craft as companion as they are. The leaves are nice. I like that flower. I think that would look nice layered up. And the parrot is cute as well. So I shall definitely be using those. I think 350 is fine if you were to consider it in that format. So Right, so using those um, dies from the magazine, um, I did a little card using the flamingo. So I pieced the little bits back in because I preferred them like that rather than the flamingo looking like it had a big hole in it. And um, there's the flower. She's um, the little, I guess it's like an orchid or something, is it? I can't remember what that type of flower is. The other little flowers. So there's the sentiment. I think that comes out really nicely. I don't know what I did with the little dot for the eye, but there we go. And that's part of that card base that came with the um, other kit as well. So it's cute. Um, and I also used some of the other bits. There's that best wishes again. The other flower and leaf and the little parrot. I just turned that into a little charm. Let's get it the right way around. So he's just hanging on there as a little charm. So I made it a little bit thicker so it can hang and there's also a little star on there so that was using that bit then the other part of the kit was the stamps and the papers and the decoupage bit so I used that to make this little card this little panda this glossy umbrella and the hedgehog looking a little bit scared um, and the uh, toadstool and that's one of the decoupage pieces. And of course, this is the card blank. So I've used those two card blanks. Um, I did also colour in a couple of the other bits. There we are. They're kind of cute. I'm still undecided about his face as to whether I find it kind of scary or not. But there we go. Yeah, that is what I picked up. And randomly, whilst I was in Home Bargains, I picked myself up a little Care Bear. Because Care Bears were just so cute. I was buying toys for children. And I was like, I'm just going to get myself a Care Bear. It's going to sit in my craft room. And he is Wish Bear. And look, you can get a whole collection of them. They're one ninety nine, um, And randomly, he's going to sit in my craft room. So there we go. So thank you for watching. A little bit random, but it is what it is. Um, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye.